Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slider. Hello and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Starship Versus. The series where I take two ships from the Star Wars universe, put them head to head, and try to predict which one would come out on top. I know it's been a while since I've done a traditional Starship Versus episode, so if you guys like this, make sure to leave a like and I'll try to get back onto a more regular schedule with these episodes. Anyway, today we're looking at two contemporaries from vastly different time periods. On one hand, we have the Millennium Falcon, famous ship of Lando Calrissian, Han Solo, Chewbacca, and countless others. Going against that ship is the Ebon Hawk, another freighter that has seen many different owners, but which was most famously captained by both Darth Revan and the Jedi Exile, the main characters from Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. One thing that I'd like to address before I even start this matchup is that these two ships come from vastly different time periods, and although there are some claims to the contrary, technology in the Star Wars universe does improve over time. A Clone Wars era capital ship, for example, is probably three to five times longer than the average sized capital ship from the Old Republic. Presumably weapons also increased in power, shields became stronger, we know that droids and other computer systems also became more sophisticated. In this video we're going to have two rounds. In the first, we're going to assume that all of the weapon systems of the Falcon, the power, the shielding, etc. are as powerful and as advanced as those of the Ebon Hawk. In other words, we're going to ignore the likely technological advantage that the ship would have. In the second round, both ships will be considered head to head with no adjustments. If the Falcon wins the first one, admittedly, the second won't be necessary, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. As for rules, I like to keep this pretty simple. We're going to take the Ebon Hawk as it appeared in Knights of the Old Republic 1. We're going to take the Millennium Falcon as it appeared during the original trilogy. We're also going to assume that each ship has a full crew, but are being piloted by equally skilled persons. So it's not Han Solo in the Millennium Falcon, for example. I'll be evaluating these two ships based on three categories, firepower, defensive systems, and then intangibles, and I'll declare a winner for each section, but in the end, we're trying to predict which ship is better overall. With the rules out of the way, let's first examine firepower. We'll start with the Ebon Hawk. Like the Falcon, the Ebon Hawk was illegally and heavily modified, to the point where it's hard to be really certain what the ship was packing. Still, the main weapons were ventral and dorsal double turbolaser turrets, and you actually get to operate these a couple of times in the Knights of the Old Republic games. This is an interesting choice for a freighter. Turbolasers really excel at fighting larger enemies, but can struggle against smaller ships like starfighters, and this is evident if you've played Knights of the Old Republic 2. These weapons fire fairly slowly, and it can be difficult to hit fast moving targets. Along with those weapons, the ship also has a concealed blaster, which comes out from its underbelly, but that won't be very useful in any sort of space battle. In addition, during the prologue of Knights of the Old Republic 2, when you're playing as a droid, you replace and you fix quad laser cannons. This is admittedly a little strange. We don't see anything that looks like quad laser cannons on this ship. The closest thing would be a set of double laser cannons that you can see on the sides of the ship, and maybe that's what it's referring to, but we never really see them operate, and certainly they only have two barrels. Nice Old Republic 2 was a very rushed game. I'm going to assume that the mention of quad laser cannons here was a mistake. I'll give the ship two double turbo laser cannons, and then two double laser cannons. In addition, although we never see it, the ship also most likely had the capacity to launch missiles, whether concussion missiles, proton torpedoes, or something else. The Falcon, despite being a very similar ship, had very different armaments. It had two quad laser cannons. These are famously seen in A New Hope and on several different occasions. These weapons are fast. We see, especially during the Battle of Endor, that they're able to very effectively track targets and fire very quickly. They also appear to be relatively powerful, although I'm sure they don't match the power of a turbo laser, at least when we're correcting for the different eras. Like the Ebon Hawk, the Falcon also possessed a concealed anti-personnel blaster, but again, that won't be super useful in this fight. The ship, like the Ebon Hawk again, also had the capacity to launch missiles, as we see during the assault on the second Death Star. If we assume that both of these ships are from the same era, I'll give the advantage to the Ebon Hawk. Its weapons are more powerful, however, the advantage will only be very slight. The Falcon has quick aiming and quick firing weapons, which 
aren't very effective at taking on smaller ships. I also really doubt the effectiveness of the double laser cannons on the Ebon Hawk, and that's whether they're double or whether they're quad. Just because they're rigid, they don't have the same degree of movement, and they're only really going to be effective if the Ebon Hawk manages to get behind the Millennium Falcon or faces it straight on. That's not going to be very likely. Next we have defensive capabilities. If we didn't ignore the differences in time period, this one would very easily go to the Millennium Falcon, just because shielding technology would have advanced pretty drastically. However, in my mind, even if we don't ignore the time difference, this category still goes to the Falcon. The Falcon was exceptionally well armored. It was one of the things that Han Solo, when personally modifying the ship, took special interest in. He took capital ship grade armor, plated it over the Falcon, giving it an insane level of protection. We've seen the Falcon shrug off fire from both starfighters and larger Imperial ships. It's obviously very, very durable. The Ibn Hawk is also said to be quite heavily upgraded, and I'm sure it had a lot of military-grade technology as well, but I just don't get the same feeling that as much care and as much effort was put into really increasing the durability of the ship. So this category goes to the Falcon. Next we have intangibles, and in a starfighter battle or in a battle involving small ships, one of the main considerations is always speed. Unlike in a capital ship engagement where two ships park next to each other and fire their weapons, when we deal with smaller ships, really, the most maneuverable ship is often the winner. It's hard to tell which one of these ships is faster. Both of them in their respective time periods were held up as being among the fastest ships in the galaxy. However, speed often refers to hyperspace speed rather than sublight speed. Both of these ships also have incredible feats. With the Ebon Hawk, we see it attack and get through the defenses of the Star Forge, and we also see it escape from Malachor during its explosion. The Falcon, on the other hand, participated in both Death Star battles, and if we're looking at Star Wars Legends, countless other engagements where it relied primarily on its speed to survive. Largely due to the fact that the Ebon Hawk is basically supposed to be an Old Republic version of the Falcon, it's very difficult to actually differentiate between the two and hard to decide which one is faster, so I'm just going to give them equal speed in this matchup. On the Falcon side, that ship has a really impressive sensor array which can wreak havoc against large capital ships, but based on the fact that this is a one-on-one -on -one engagement, sensors aren't going to be super important, so not really a big advantage there. On the Ebon Hawks side, that ship is also slightly smaller, so it will have a smaller target profile, meaning that it will be more difficult to hit. The Falcon is also notoriously unreliable, and Han is always kind of taping things apart, trying to keep it up and running. Because that's hard to predict, and you don't really know when the Falcon's going to fail, I'm not going to include that in my consideration. So let's now look at the matchup, and in my mind, the winner will really be the ship that has the more well-optimized weapons. Either we have the turbo lasers of the Ebon Hawk, or we have the quad laser cannons of the Falcon. Both of these ships are very fast. Personally, I can't prove this, but I think the Falcon is a little bit faster. That's not what's important though. What is important is that this is going to be a battle where neither ship is right ahead of the other one for very long. They're going to be dipping through space, spinning around, and doing advanced maneuvers. I mean, we saw what the Falcon could do in Empire Strikes Back, when flying through the asteroid field. I think that in a situation like this, the lighter but still very powerful guns of the Falcon are more optimized for the battle. I mean, obviously the weapons on the Ebon Hawk are very powerful. If it gets a few good shots off, could do some serious damage to the Falcon. I mean, we see at one point in Knights of the Old Republic 2 that it destroys an asteroid. Now, I realize that that is kind of some artistic liberty. I'm not gonna go all stardestroyer.net and say that that means that it could destroy the sun or anything like that, but means that the weapons are fairly powerful. Still, I think that the slow movement speed of those turrets and the fact that they're more well situated for fighting a capital ship is gonna be a fairly large disadvantage. That, combined with the Falcon's extra armor, I think give Han's ship the advantage here. It's a very, very close battle, but I think Han's ship is just better for fighting small fighters, and I think it's been more extensively modified. Still, as I said, it's close, but I give it to the Falcon six and a half times out of 10. That, however, is if we're assuming that both ships are from the same era. If we take the Falcon as it existed at the time of the original trilogy, we put the Ebon Hawk with technology from the Old Republic, then the Falcon stomps. It'll be faster, its weapons will be more powerful, and its shielding will just be way, way more durable. In that situation, I think the Falcon wins 
nine and a half times out of 10, but that's just my opinion. I would love to hear what you guys think. Who do you think would win in this matchup? Does the Falcon take it even back in the Old Republic days? Am I misjudging the difference in technology? Let me know all of that below. Also take a second to vote in the upper right hand corner. Let me know which ship you think is better. Anyways, as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, considering leaving a like, subscribing, maybe following me on Twitter or joining the Discord. I haven't talked about the Discord lately, but it's still growing. It's nearing 2000 members. We're talking about Star Wars there, basically 24 to seven, and it's a lot of fun. Anyways, thank you one more time. As always, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the force be with you.